So one of our favorite cards in the Splinterlands deck, and I own four of them, is a summoner called Bright and Bloom. He's a dragon splinter. You can buy him on the marketplace for relatively cheap. I think there should be some, yeah, that's not a lot of deck, like 600, 650 deck around there. You can see I could buy him now. I do, I might actually buy him later. But even just to rent this card, let's have a look at the price. 0.12 deck. So if I was to rent this card for 30 days, how much are we looking at? We're looking at 3.6 deck. That's not a lot. Anyone can rent this card. But so what makes him so powerful as a summoner and also a very cheap summoner is he gives all of your monsters a flying ability. So when you have these earthquake damage battles, if you see at the top here, you can literally fly above. So you just do a normal deck, you know, whatever your usual deck would be, and all of your monsters will have the flight ability, which means they won't take earthquake damage, and a lot of the attacks will miss them, while well, the ranged and the melee attacks will miss them because of flight, but your magic damage will still hit a flight monster. But you'll see here, I'll clean this guy up really quickly. Even though he's got a really good hand, the earthquake damage is just going to clean him up. You know, look, he's almost done. So Brighton Bloom, great card. I'm actually probably going to go and buy one. I've started a guild and it's a really good card for new players. And if anyone in my guild doesn't have Brighton Bloom, I'm going to make sure they either get it or I will send them Brighton. So hope you enjoyed that little tip and let me know if you need any other tutorials.